Hey YouTube, this is Justin with Alternative Drummer. Today I've got another plug-in review for you guys. What we're going to be taking a look at today is Handy Drums by Goran Grooves Library. Now what this plugin does is very similar to a program like Easy Drummer, Superior Drummer 3, or Hertz Drums. Uh, what you can do is plug in your electronic drum kit, hook it up to your DAW on your computer, and use this plugin to replace the sounds that are coming out of your electronic drum set. So if you don't really like the sounds like out of your Alesis or your Roland or whatever you have, you can use a plugin like this or any of those other ones that I mentioned to replace those sounds and record it into your DAW. Okay, so what I really like about this plugin is the fact that you could buy bits and pieces a la carte. You don't have to spend a ton of money uh, to get the drums you like. So for example, we have all these different kits down here and there's audio samples for each of them. And as you can see, they're all really affordable, uh, $35 basically each. And right now there's a sale, normally they're 60 bucks. And if you wanna pick any of these up, I'll post a link down below to make it easier for you to find them. Uh, but the one I checked out is called the Retro Custom Kit. And I actually really like the way this plugin sounds. Let me just play a little sample of it here. Kind of like a Steve Gadd type drum sound. And I really like that sound. You know, it's it's really hip, it's really modern, but there's a lot of different stuff in here. We have reggae. And let's see, rock, rock standard. If you like a bigger, more open, uh, traditional rock tone, they've got that too. And like I said, you can get them a la carte, you can load more if you want to hear the different samples like this. And we have, you know, Vintage Ludwigs, Metal Standard, Ballad Rock, Studio Legend, World Percussion, John Bonham Style. That one looks pretty cool. Let's take a listen to that. Man, yeah, it has a bit of a Bonhamy sound to it. Snare's a bit tight, I think, but still sounds good. Um, overall, uh, I think the quality of recording for these samples is actually very good. Uh, it's one of the better ones I've heard uh, for the plugins. You know, if you're going for realism and, uh, you know, just kind of natural sounding drums, this is very good. Now, if you're looking for more electronic sounds and things like that, you're not going to find it here. Uh, this is basically going for realism and uh, having a variety like that. Now, let's get on to taking a look at the actual plugin. All right, so now here's what it looks like when you actually have the plugin installed. I'm using it in Reaper here. And as you can see, there's a little mixer down on the bottom here. And it's very simple, it's very clean layout, easy to understand. If you click on the icons here, you can actually preview the drum sounds. And if you click on the top, I think, yeah, if you click away from the icon a little bit, it's like a, a softer hit. If you click in the center, it's a louder hit. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then down below, we have a keyboard view. So you can click the keys down here as well. And you can also play this via MIDI controller if you have like a keyboard hooked up. You don't have to use eDrums, you can use a MIDI controller. And then here we have our uh, MIDI note uh, key mapping. Now this is the part that I'm not crazy about, about this plugin. Um, this is a very manual setup. First, I was trying to map it to my ATV uh, XT3 module, which I really just could not do. Once I got the Titan 50, I was able to map it to that because the Titan 50 has assignable uh, MIDI notes you know, that you can change within the module. Uh, however, on the ATV, it really doesn't. You can change them here, but it's just quite a bit of work. Because as you can see, all they give you is the actual note, name, and number. There's no MIDI learn feature. So you basically have to do it manually and you have to know which note your drum set is sending out to actually be able to use this. Um, so that can be a bit challenging if it doesn't map to you right away. And there's also no presets uh, basically for different drum kits like Easy Drummer and uh, even I think Hertz Drums had some presets already, you know, where I was able to dial it in pretty quickly just by selecting a preset and then changing a few things. This doesn't have that. So the Titan 50 actually mapped pretty well. Um, the only thing I think the Toms, uh, Tom 1 was actually not mapping to Tom 1, it was mapping to Tom 2, and Tom 2 was mapping to Tom 3, and like, etc. You know, I could fix all of that. Quite honestly, I didn't want to spend that much time just trying to figure it out. 
Um, it would be much easier if this had a MIDI learn feature. However, Gorn Grooves did tell me that that is planned in the future. So that would make this plugin quite a bit better if they had the MIDI learn feature. For now though, if you're not afraid of manually configuring it, you can do that right here. Okay, and then we also have multiple outputs, which is very nice. So you can just click right here. And then this is similar to how it works in Hertz drums. You can set up your multiple outputs and then you have to map them to channels within your DAW. Okay, so other than that, we also have settings. And then here you can do zoom factor. This is nice. So if you have like a, you know, if it's not fitting on your screen, you can go here and just adjust the zoom. Or if it's too small, like if you have a really high resolution, you can make it bigger like I do. And that actually looks a little easier to read for me. All right, then in addition to that, we also have variable hi-hat control curve right here. So you can actually draw this, you know, if your hi-hat's not responding the way you like, you can adjust that really easily right here, which I actually could probably stand to do that on mine because I think the curve was a little weird when I was playing it on mine. So it'd probably do better for me to have something like this on mine because the loud hits were happening too soon. So this is really nice. This is a great feature. Um, it's very simple. You know, it's a very simple layout but it's effective. Uh, my only real criticism, like I said before, is the MIDI mapping feature. Uh, but once they get that fixed, I think it'll be a really good plugin. For 35 bucks, you can get a really nice sounding kit. If you want to get all the kits, uh, you can do that right here. Under products, we just go to plugin bundle and you can get all the kits for $249, which isn't like super cheap. You know, it's a competitive price, I guess. Uh, you you get more kits than you do, I think, with Easy Drummer. Actually, I'm not totally sure about that. 15, you get 15 kits. I'm not sure what Easy Drummer 3 comes with these days uh, by default. But, you know, it's a, it's a competitive price, and they do sound really nice. The thing I really like about this plugin is the sounds. The samples are very organic sounding and uh, just kind of a more modern drum sound where I think a lot of the other drum plugins, like Superior Drummer 3 especially, to me, sounds very dated these days. Uh, I have Superior Drummer 3, and honestly, I just never use it because it just sounds like 2003 when I play that thing. I don't know. I'm just not really into the sounds in Superior Drummer 3. But this is nice. I really think that these are some great sounds, and it's affordable if you buy a la carte. Uh, if you want to get the full you know, plug-in bundle, that's also pretty affordable. It's easy to install, and the layout is good. It doesn't seem to use very much CPU. So very nice stuff. Anyway, that's the review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think about handy drums. And if you used this plugin before, what do you think about the sounds? Anyway, I'll see y'all really soon. Have a great day.